Hey guys, we're back here with Leah Fitch and Anna Simple, and you guys are here to, with the Missoula Forum for Children and Youth, and you're here with Healthy Start. Mm -hmm. Healthy Start Kids? Healthy Start? Healthy Start Missoula. Healthy Start Missoula, yeah. okay. Well, you guys are here to talk about uh, Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month here in um, Missoula, mm -hmm. and one of the events that are happening, many events that are happening, mm -hmm. of course, the biggest event that's happening is the one that's at the Double Tree next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Also, you're offering free rides and um, an event at the carousel on Tuesday night as well. But that's just kind of like a flyover. You guys, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> happening. And uh, let's kind of kick it off with uh, what what is uh, Missoula Forum for Children and Youth? Yeah. Oh, well, Missoula Farm for Children and Youth is a program at the Missoula City County Health Department, um, and we primarily do uh, prevention. And so part of that is um, we have an early childhood um, a coalition that Anna runs is called Healthy Start. Mm -hmm. And so that's really the, um, the events that we're talking about today. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the events that uh, people can engage with? Yeah, we have two big events coming up next week, all part of our State of the Young Child series I guess. Um, so on Tuesday from 4 to 5 30 on the 17th all families are welcome to come to the carousel and have free rides. We should have Clifford the dog coming around from our um, local educators for young children chapter and um, just a good time in general. Uh, last time last year we had about a hundred people come through and it looks like we should have that again. You can have as many rides as you want. Um, and then after that, on Wednesday, we will have more of a professional track. We have a couple of trainings for child care providers or anyone who works with children. And then a dinner that honors our early childhood champions, um, anyone who has made a difference in your early, young children's lives. So child care providers, again, um, any social service providers. Um, parents are welcome to come, too. Um, that one isn't free. It does cost $25 for the dinner, but we have scholarships for child care providers that might want to come. Um, we will be honoring two different early childhood champions. We have Julie Bullard from the University of Montana who oh. is retiring this year and has just done amazing work across the state writing books, um, advocate or you know doing policy work at the state level and um, really looking at making early childhood profession a little more elevated and a little bit more um, organized in the state and she's she's just great um, and then Lolo preschool has also done a great job they have achieved star level four which is a hard job to do there's five stars possible and they're right up there at four um, and they also are taking part in the governor's stars preschool program which is um, a pilot program that is funded by the state um, to help serve some you know higher needs kids and and really help support them so they're partnering with Lolo Elementary School and that's not an easy thing to jump into a pilot program so we really want to honor them um, and then we'll be learning a little bit about self-care it's been a hard year for early childhood and a lot of different services in general just budget wise and changes that have gone on and so really talking about how much we value the work that people have done um, honor that hard work and then just take a little time to think about how we can take care of ourselves so we can continue working in a really challenging field yeah. what is the importance <clears throat> of prevention leah oh goodness well <laughs> that is a big question Scott. yeah yeah <laughs> You, know, you don't have to solve the world's problems in one question. Sure, yeah. Um, I think that one of the reasons that we do prevention and um, what, why so many people that we work with do um, is because that we see um, the huge benefit for our children later on. And I think especially within early childhood, I think that it... I think there's an actual like it's it might be four to one like so with with every dollar that you um, um, actually invest in early childhood um, then you're actually saving I think four dollars later on so um, so just looking at like um, how can we help uh, children have great childhoods right. um, early on mm -hmm. and that way the, um, that that they're going to be healthy happy uh, people later cool so, and. Yeah. Uh, the forum also works with many other organizations that yes. helps these kids as well. Yes. Do you uh, uh, do you want to mention any other other organizations sure. that you guys work with? Yeah, yeah. So we have a few different coalitions. Uh, we have several community partners. Uh, one of our big coalitions that we uh, also have is the uh, Missoula Underage Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition as well. Um, we also do quite a bit in terms of um, trying to 
um, prevent uh, prescription uh, drug misuse and abuse. Um, and then uh, we're actually having an event later on this month too where we're doing a prescription drug take back on the 28th um, as well. Um, yeah, so, and we work quite a bit also with the parenting right. place as well. So, in our, um, yeah, yeah, we have, there's a lot of partners mm -hmm. really to put State of the Young Child on. We need all of our partners. Yeah. So, it's sponsored by Child Care Resources, um, Missoula Educators for Young Children. We have uh, funding from the Children's Trust Fund and the Preschool Development Grant um, through state grants. And then, you know, Early Head Start, um, Growing Up Green, let's see, Child Development Center, they are all on our committee that really have put this together. So without the work that all of them have done, um, we wouldn't, this wouldn't be happening. Cool. And the thing that's happening is happening next week on Wednesday and Tuesday, mm -hmm. free carousel rides, easy, just stop on by between 4 and 5.30. Mm -hmm. And then of course the Doubletree Hotel, 6 p.m. Yeah, for the dinner and just check out our website. We've got, you know, different trainings and events going on all day long. So HealthyStartMissoula.org, um, right there in the middle, you have that happy superhero kid. You can click on that and you'll find out all of the times and other information. Yeah, so okay. a nice little uh, events going on here. Say the young child, put your information down here. Mm -hmm. uh, RSVP, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep. If you want food, you, you better let us know you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Is there yeah, anything so else you want to mention? No. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, we'll be right back with more show right after this.